to Bethy Life. I'm so glad to have you here today, and I so enjoyed when we took our pictures together. It was so much fun. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm really happy to be here. Well, let's start out. Where did you grow up, and how did you get to Houston? Well, I was born in Hoboken, New Jersey, <laughs> <laughs> out of all places, and uh -huh. my parents moved to Houston when I was one because it was so freezing cold, and I guess we like being hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we moved to Houston when I was one. I grew up in Aleph. Mm hmm Great. And I went to, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I consider myself a Houstonian. I went to Houston Baptist University. Yes. And then after that, I went to UT Galveston for medical school. Uh-huh. And then I did my um, internal medicine residency and cardiology training at UT Houston. You really are a Houstonian. <laughs> yes. Very much so. How, how did you go into medicine? Well, ever since I was very little, there were only two things that I wanted to do. And... Of course, I'm Indian, so my, my dad's like, okay. So they, they ask very early on from a very young age. He's like, okay, so. Really? So they're like, okay, so do you want to be a doctor or an engineer? That and was the question. That was it. <laughs> do you want to be a doctor or do you want to be an engineer? And I was like, well, dad, there's one other thing. Um, but I was thinking about other than one of those. And he's like, what? I go, well, what about if I become an actress? And he, and he was like, absolutely not. <laughs> He goes, no, if you become a doctor, you, you will be respected, and that way you can do whatever else you want to later on, and it won't matter, because he goes, if you go the actress route, you might have to do a lot of bad, bad things you don't even, <laughs> you don't even know about. I'm like, oh, what are these bad things? I don't even know what he's talking about. But so I was like, that was it. I only had two choices. So I, I went the medicine path, and I, I love science, and I was always a biology, chemistry, like, little nerd growing up, so. That's amazing. How did you choose cardiology? So I went through all my rotations in medical school and internal medicine, and I just found cardiology so passionate and loving, and it's so exciting and everything's so different. And when I was training, it was a very man-driven field. And I I'm, bet. And I was like, and I'm very ambitious. I'm like, that's it. I need to do this. So I just went for it. That's amazing. So speaking of actress, you were recently on Married to Medicine on Bravo TV. Tell us about that experience. It was a, it was a great experience. So this is one of the first Houston reality TV shows. And I was so excited because it basically fell in my lap. They found me. Oh. And it's because there's only so many women doctors that can actually have a, a life outside of medicine because once you're in medicine, your job is so busy. And then not only that, if you're married and if you have children, right. you really don't have time for other extracurricular activities. So right. this is perfect because I wasn't married. I don't have kids. So what all I do is work and then play. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. So did, was it fun doing the TV show? It was, it was a lot of fun. It's weird having cameras in your face the whole entire time because mm -hmm. Because at, at first it was very, I'm like, oh my God, I mean, think about your angle, think about this, how you look in different positions. But then you just get used to it and you kind of, it's almost like that they don't even exist. It's almost like the TV and the camera aren't, aren't there. But yeah. The thing with the, the reality TV is they have the, the crew, which you never get to see. There's about 20 people surrounding you. And there's at least three or four camera people and they're getting it from all these different angles. Right. And, so you just don't really know what angle they're even picking up. And the, I think the scariest part about it is the cutting and editing, because you're not in the process of the you whole You just don't know what's going to mm -hmm. end up on, on the final cut. No, because you, we could be talking about one thing, and all of a sudden, that answer that whatever I, whatever I gave you could have been pasted somewhere else to some other thing, and then yeah. it's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I went to the opening mm -hmm. night at the party, and I just the show was just fantastic. And it was so exciting to have one of those shows in Houston, finally. I'm, I'm so happy. I think Houston's finally moved to become the third largest city, and I think that we should be we should be out there. We have and we're known for medicine and oil and gas yeah. and, and things like yeah. that. So I think I think it was perfect for a medicine show mm -hmm. because uh, the Texas Medical Center is the largest medical center in the world. No kidding. I probably knew that, but yeah, that's yeah. that's unbelievable. Yeah, so I think it was it was about time, and I, I think the reality TV shows and all the housewife shows they're all fun and everything, but. I think it's time to put professional women that are educated and hardworking and stand on their own mm -hmm. two feet without having to like depend on men mm -hmm. and, and to put them out there and yeah, show other absolutely. women that you know you can everyone can have everything that they want. You can have the whole fashion, the medicine, mm -hmm. and everything, but do it yourself. You don't need to depend on a, a, a man for that. Absolutely. So what do you do in your downtime or free time <laughs> since you have a little bit? So uh, if I'm not working at the hospital. 
I love to do a lot of charity events. Mm -hmm. so I know. <laughs> every year I pick two or three really huge charity events. And one of them that I did, I, went, I did faith and practice. So I traveled to Guatemala. Mm. And we provided basic health care for a whole entire week. Wow. So I've done that twice. And that's, it's very, I mean, I think I probably benefited from that experience more than even, even the people. They would walk. For, for days just to come see us. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, so it, was, it, was really, it was really nice. And so I've done that. I've also done charity events. I, I hosted one for to end sex trafficking, mm -hmm. which, was, which was really good because that's like near and dear to my heart. And I, I don't think that most people realize, but Houston's like the, one of the, you think it's only like something that happens outside of the countries, yeah. but Houston's one of the top places that it happens. And yeah. I 10 freeway is one of the top places where it happens. So mm -hmm. I wanted to promote awareness for that, just so people know. And then I, I'm um, of Indian origin, so I've done the Asian Pacific American Heritage Association. I've danced for them. Which I got to go to last yeah. week. You were so great. <laughs> <laughs> so last year I competed and I won. So this year I was a showcase dance. Yeah, so fun. That was such a fun party and everyone danced so well. I loved it, I loved it. So what, is the best piece of advice you've ever been given other than be a doctor or engineer? <laughs> <laughs> the best advice um, that I've been given is just to be positive. I mean, there's things that happen in all of our lives and it's really hard because mm -hmm. some days are, are rough and some days are happy. So you have these up and down moments. But as soon as I start having any kind of negative like thoughts or bad, bad thoughts, and we all do it mm -hmm. just depending on things that happen to us in our lifetime, I just automatically start, I just start flipping it and I start turning it in my head. And you mean the, the actual event that happened to you or? Or just start, re, start making it more of a positive experience, just changing it in my head because negative things happen to all of us, they happen to me too, but mm -hmm. I just start, start just changing it and becoming positive and manifesting more positive things towards me. That's great advice, really great advice. Yes. Because it's easy right. to let the negative things it is, and I, I try to do that when my patients come and talk to me. Mm -hmm. I talk to them about everything, and they end up telling me, I, I somehow, they just tell me their whole life story, which is really nice because they, they trust me. Mm -hmm. And I create a, a nice bond with them, and then I try to be as positive with them too, because I think that that is something, like subconsciously or consciously, affects the heart and affects everything, affects stress. So I, I try to put a huge importance on that. I think that's amazing and, and I'm sure so beneficial to your patients as well. Mm -hmm. So tell us something humorous about yourself. <laughs> no. Humorous? Yeah. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there, there's, I, there's tons of things. I mean, I'm, I'm, very, I'm a serious doctor by day, but I love to lie. I, like I'm a little girl, I like, like giggle and laugh and, and very girly when it comes to being outside the hospital. So for, for me, humorous, meaning like, um, I'll just sit here and laugh and giggle about all kinds of things. I'm, I'm laughing like a hyena. <laughs> <laughs> so you have really two sides to your personality, the serious doctor and then the, the girly girl. Mm -hmm. That's so fun. So what is maybe one of your favorite indulgences? I love to travel. So one of my main things that I want to do is I want to travel all seven continents. So I've been to six of them. Really? What one haven't you been to? Antarctica. And oh my so, gosh. So that's the next one that I want to go to. And I want to take a, I'm just going to basically put my little flip there, take a picture of the penguins and, and jump back. <laughs> yeah, go, I was here. Okay. Put, like plant a little flag. <laughs> I was here and now I'm gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I don't really like being cold. I, li no. I like being hot, nice and hot and warm, but, but I have to go. That's, that's. Yeah, that's something else. So um, you have beautiful skin, beautiful makeup. Give us, share a few of your secrets. I like to exercise a lot. And when I exercise um, a lot, I end up drinking lots of water. Mm -hmm. And I think that's key. It's, sometimes it's really hard. A lot of people, uh, my patients and, and just people in general, have a hard time getting water down. Mm -hmm. But if, you, if you're sweating and burning off those calories, you're gonna drink water. So I think water, exercising and then I really stay out of the sun uh, as much as, as I can. Mm -hmm. If I'm in the sun, I, I like to wear something to protect my skin. Mm -hmm. And so I think those are the top three things. Do you have any irrational fears? Well, I think everyone probably has some irrational fear, fears. I mean, mine are 
like snakes and spiders. <laughs> There's some people that aren't scared of them. But yeah. <laughs> so if you had to go to a desert island with just like three products, what would you take? Eyeliner. I, I have to have eyeliner. I have to have my eyeliner. That's so on my list too. It would be eyeliner, lipstick, and lip gloss. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. What if I just hide from the sun when it was really hot? Right, you can go under a palm tree. I'll go under a palm tree and hide from the sun. <laughs> what are some of your favorite places to either shop or eat or hang out in Houston? Well, the River Oaks District is yeah. absolutely fabulous. I spend a lot of my time there because there's so, so many nice things to do, and that's where we did our shoot. Yep, we and, did. Yeah. No, there's no shortage of backdrops there. None. And, and it's just, it's a great place. I and mean, you can go to all the nice restaurants and even the IPIC Theater. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go to La Colonia and listen to music upstairs and lounge, Steak 48. I, mean, I, basically, I basically live at Steak 48 in La Colonia. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not two great places to live. <laughs> so tell us about your fashion sense or style or who or what has inspired you to dress how you do. I like to be different. I So the two stores I, I really like to go to, I go to BCBG and then I go to Tootsie's. Mm -hmm. And then I try to put my Indian uh, culture, like my heritage into things too. So I really like shiny things and bright things. So I kind of like to like bedazzle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you this, you have bedazzled all of us today and in your photos. And we're so glad to have you, Monica. Um, this was a great you. interview. That's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>